しとるとThis is a nice option for a daytime opener. It's sincere, so you can always say it anytime you see a girl that you're very attracted to, and it brings out a smile in them, makes them feel good. So even if she does have a boyfriend or something, you're actually doing good work by going around and saying this to women. Well, I'm Richard, by the way. I'm Kate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And what are you up to today? I'm going to meet a friend now. Hang on a second. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay, that's good. And look, I hope you don't mind me asking, but we're in a park, yeah? Right. And you're wearing heels and a dress. What's that about? <laughs> I just had an interview. Oh, yeah? Looking for a job? Yes, I am. So what job are you looking for? I want to be an administrator in a restaurant. In this case, you do need a bit more information, so asking another question is the right choice. You said you just had an interview over there. What was yeah, right. that? Um, just in the restaurant over there. Ah, there's the restaurant right on the park, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. That's quite a fancy one. That's yeah, it pretty is. Pretty good place to work. I like it. Hmm. And is it, I think it's Italian food, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it's right? Italian, Mediterranean cuisine and stuff. Well, that's good because it's very tasty. But for me, I don't know if I work there and yeah. if they had free food, I'd just be, I don't know, like. It's getting huge. <laughs> really? Yeah, you need That's to find out problem. if they have free food there. If oh, they okay. do, <laughs> don't know. I really do hope you get a job somewhere very nice. Yeah, thank you. But mainly so I can get free food. Yeah. <laughs> I just come down and say, I know, I know that girl Kate, and she said um, to just give me loads of food, and you know she'll pay for it later. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange, but no, I'm okay. joking. But it would be pretty cool. Yeah, funny. Good one. This is a playful response. Should get a laugh, and is the way to go. So, what is your job? My job. Well, I'm a salesman. Oh, yeah, that's um, nice. What what do you sell? Hmm, now I sell software, and actually I started selling like cars and even double glazing back in the day. And now I sell software, so it's a lot more relaxed and it's um, it's quite good. I like it. Good being a salesman, you get to meet lots of people. Oh, I guess right. Yeah. And tell me, you know, I was just talking to my friends, and they're looking for jobs at the moment as well. Oh, and they told me that they. They're kind of bitching about immigrants all the time.、Mm. So what do you think? Because you're like unemployed, looking for a job. What do you think about the immigrant situation? I think it's okay. I actually like the idea very much because、um, immigrants bring diversity, and you know it's a good thing. Well, I don't really agree with it too much because you have to think you've got a culture, right, in a country, and then when you let in too many people from another culture, they have to really integrate, learn the language. 
um, make friends with the local people, everyone has sure. to get along well. And that's multiculturalism and that's when it works. Yeah. But when you've got people coming in that aren't part of that, you know, you can't really say, okay, you know, as many can come as they like, right? right. So it really depends actually on the immigrants, their attitude and, you know, whether they can integrate. Because it's really right. beautiful when people do integrate. Yes, true. There are many ways to build attraction, but this is actually one of the most powerful. If you can use intelligence, reasoned argument, and change someone's mind, it's really, really cool and sexy. So obviously try it in real life, and well done for picking the right solution in this case. Well, you know what? Regardless of whether you're for or against immigrants, the okay. right, very cool thing that they bring is all the food. Yeah, because like in England, we've got so much tasty Indian food. It's just delicious. We've got the Chinese food, it's wonderful. Yeah. And that wouldn't happen if we didn't have such a cool uh, multicultural society. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a positive, it's fantastic food. Yeah, and I agree. Maybe I'm just hungry now, I'm thinking about food, you've got the restaurant thing, but what's your favorite food? My favorite food is tacos. Tacos? Yeah, it's Mexican. That's amazing. I love Mexican food as well. Spicy food, guacamole, enchiladas, yeah. and of course tacos. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. We've got so much in common already. Yeah, kind of. Too much me tooing doesn't really work, especially when it doesn't come across as genuine. Later on, not so bad. In the early stages, it can make you seem disingenuous. And tell me, can you cook? No, not really. Well, come on, what about boiling an egg or, I don't know, scrambled eggs, other egg-based di dishes? No, I don't like it. No, pasta? Oh, no. You can't cook or you don't like it? I can't and I don't like it as well. Wow. Oh, well, that's okay. Not everyone can cook, and I don't know. You can always there's these days what restaurants, deliveries, microwaves, ready. Like no one cooks these days, do they? Sure. Hmm. Is it really okay? Is that what you really think? In this case, she knows she could be better. You know she could be better, but you've given her a pass. So you could have done better to tease her about it, or just say what you honestly think, but not go on about it. But just quickly say. I do cook a little bit from time to time, I quite like it. Oh, that's interesting. What do you cook? Uh, I like Italian food, I like healthy food. Oh. So yeah, I could, I've got a few like specialties that I make. Yeah, that's great. I think men are better at cooking than women. Yeah? Yeah, all great chefs are men. Well, that's actually true. But yeah, the men are good at cooking, but actually I go as far as saying men are better at pretty much everything. Oh, come on, you're kidding, right? Should I be kidding? Well, let's yeah. assume I meant it. Like, what, what's something women are better at, do you think? Everything. <laughs> what, body, bodybuilding, powerlifting? There's only one side, Formula okay? Formula One racing. No, women have Football, uh, better hockey. intuition. Women are better artists. Women are better musicians. Da Vinci, Michelangelo, what? Famous? I don't know, that's stupid. Oh, maybe in the Actresses past women weren't allowed to. And whatever, everyone is women. Playful is always good, so that's a good option. Such nice weather, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And do you do any outdoor activities or you're usually inside? Oh no, I love it. I yeah. like walking. You see, I'm in the park right now. Yeah, and in your heels. Actually, <laughs> actually, I like riding a bike. I yeah. have a bike. And I'm fond of climbing and stuff. And well, different quite a activities. lot then. Yeah, I like hmm. it. I would have never guessed that you're an active kind of girl because you've got... Well, I guess you don't have like huge nails or anything, but... No. Long hair. So no, that's cool that you're active. This should be part of any conversation where you go from stranger to wanting to see them again, getting the number or instant date, whatever it may be. You need to take it to things that they like to do because you're looking for that reason to see them again, that common connection or that date suggestion that you can come up with.
Well, we've got to keep in touch, right? So um, let me put my number in your phone and then you can call me. Okay. Okay. Have you got the same phone? Yeah, I do. I save it as Richard Park Hansen. <laughs> okay. Genius. <laughs> no, joking. Just Richard. Okay, I will go. remember that. This is just dumb because anytime you give a number to a girl, if she's a you know cool chick and she's got options, it's very unlikely that she's going to be the first one to reach out. So it's much better to get her number. Okay, cool. So my idea would be that, I don't know, we pick a day when the weather's good and we could okay. ride bikes and I could even bring a few snacks and drinks and have a little picnic. Oh, I think that would be great. That's yeah? a nice plan. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. So put your number in my phone and Sure. We'll sort it out. Okay. Here you are. That's brilliant because you've just got such a logical step to su then suggest doing this for the date. So it's the right option. Well done. I'll call your phone right now so that you've got my number too, right? Otherwise, you won't know who's calling. Okay. Hang on. Okay, it's ringing, is it? Yeah, it's buzzing. Okay, cool. So you've got my number now as well. Okay. If you're going to be getting in touch with her, it makes sense to give her your number. She can also go and, you know, check out your um, Facebook and do some snooping if she's that way inclined. What's your schedule like over the next few days? Uh, let me think. I'm a bit busy, but um, on Thursday, Thursday is good. I can. You're free think. on Thursday? Yeah. Remember that every time you're speaking to a girl that you want to see again and you're going to get her number, you have to include this step. So well done for choosing it here. Make sure you build it in as part of your real life um, dating skills. You always find out what she's got coming up so that you know when you can see her again. Well, it was so lovely meeting you. Really yeah. nice. You're, you're just a wonderful girl. Uh, thank you. Really special. Thank you very oh, much. I'll see you then. Yeah, bye. That's all right, but you know, it might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but the warmer the goodbye, the worse, because then she's very sure that you like her and she's very sure that you'll message and she's more likely to go into that playing hard to get role because she knows you'll keep chasing, but still not too bad. Yep, nice one. You definitely want to be in front and you want to pay attention to the amount of space between No, wrong, 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 because you want your wingman to look cool and be able to hold his own. Whereas a girl wing woman is actually a pretty cool option, your ex is just going to get in the way because she doesn't actually want you to get any girls. You want to go out with someone that makes you look good. They should be, um, they should look pretty good if possible, at least dress well. Um, they should be someone that puts you in a good mood, has a positive energy. And if possible, you know, one that actually likes talking to girls. Oopsie, that might get you in trouble later on. Not the best choice. Although it seems very geeky to set up code words, it will help you in situations where you want to communicate something to your friend without the girls understanding what it is. Did 
I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're gonna get lucky tonight. I can just feel it. Yeah, I feel it to me. Oh, oh look at those two. Well, yeah. yeah. Which one do you like? I like the blonde one. I don't know. I don't know what to say to her. You don't know? Go on, give it a go. No, I don't know. I, I don't want to be embarrassed. Mm, all right. Yeah, man, you just need more confidence. Here, finish some of that. Have, have as much as you can and then you get in there. No, probably oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, Dutch courage. There you go, man. Cool. You feel better, man? Yeah, cool. Yeah, sometimes you need a drink, right, before yeah, you start. you're yeah. right. Can't do it immediately. All right, you ready to go, yeah? Yeah, All right, 100% so here's, ready. Oh, fuck, this dude's gone in there. What's going on? Hang on a minute, maybe he's just walking past? Or, oh, shit, now they like him. Yeah. Oh well. You see what just happens and that is why you always need to make the move when the time is right. I'll tell you what, um, yep. have you got any cash, any notes? Mm. Just while we wait, I've got yeah, something cool. Yeah, probably. I'm going to show you a magic trick. Yeah, there you go. Right, so I'm going to take this $100 Put it in my pocket and it's going to make you talk to those girls. Richard, come because on. Because you're not getting it back until you talk to them. Well. You agree? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Rather than you guys just hanging out at the bar, not doing anything and having a shitty night, why not um, use this as a way to get each other talking to women? Going in together is what a lot of guys do. It doesn't work too well. Much better if one of you goes in, kind of warms things up first. What should I say? Why don't you use the engagement opener? Oh, yeah, yeah right. It always works, that one. Yeah. That's like 102% so, chance. So, I'll do my best. Yeah, man. Oh, hi, girls. Hey. Hi. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, my friend uh, dated a girl for a month, and uh, yesterday he proposed to her. Oh. Uh, do you think one month is enough time to figure it out everything about a person? No. I think yes. You think no? Yes. Why? Because it's too quick, you know. I don't think so. I'm happy for the girl. Well, I must agree with you. I think it's too soon. And by the way, my name is Greg. I'm Greg. Vicky. Nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And you? Monica. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is an opinion opener, so it's very engaging, hence, you know, engagement opener. But it's also very engaging. It gets you into a conversation if you're not super comfortable talking to girls in bars, this is a great one to start with and it's a good choice in this case. You want to allow enough time for him to say something to the girls, get a response, go a little bit further than that, get them comfortable, uh, make sure that they feel good and then you join exactly at that time. If it's too early or too late, um, it could be all wrong and mess things up. So around a minute, looks right but when they're kind of engaged in a conversation together ideally smiling you can get in there what an amazing party yeah okay. so funny. hey girls i'm so sorry is he bothering you i told him not to come hang on security can you come immediately please <laughs> Whoa. No, I'm joking. He's okay. Yo, hey, Richard. Hey. So who are these two? Oh, uh, let me introduce. Uh, this is Vicky. Hi, nice Richard. To nice to meet you. And Monica. Nice Hi. to meet you, Monica. Nice to meet you too.
This is funny, but it's kind of what most guys do, isn't it? Where they diss their friends in front of girls. So it's a little bit immature, not very cool. And actually, the nicer you are to, to each other, the more complimentary you are, the better you make each other look. So think about that. So what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I like reading. Yeah, what do you yeah. read? Well, now I read Harry Potter books. Really? Yes. Oh my god. What? No, that's bad. So it means you're like 12 years old or 13? No, 14? No, no. No, 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 no not even yeah. close. I thought actually. only young girls read Harry Potter. No, it's not. Have you ever read Harry Potter? Yeah, I read the first one. Uh, didn't like it. And I watched the second like movie. Oh, well, you know. Didn't yeah. like it. <laughs> I know it's popular, but I thought it was, you know, a children's thing. But no, absolutely not. No? It's got some good stuff. Yes, yeah, so I think you should try it. You know. I did like that she gave all the money to charity, JK Rowling. You know? she's, yeah, 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 yeah. She's very cool, so. Yes, that's I really good. Like so it's good that you're supporting. If you, did you pay for it? or you? For boost? Yeah, or yes. you download yeah. it. No, 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 I paid. That's I bought good. it. Cool. Yeah. Well done, you're being a good wingman. That's exactly right. Um, you want to help him out this time, maybe he'll help you out this next time. And by talking to the other girl exclusively, you free him up to do his thing with the girl that he's into. I like reading too, actually, but wow. don't you think it's rare these days? Like everyone's on Instagram and just distracted by yeah. stuff. Well, you know, maybe but my friends yeah. read all the, the time, so... Yeah. yeah? Yeah. We should start a reading club. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Yeah, just, I think they do that, right? Like everyone reads the same book and then yeah. talks about yeah, the Yes, actually it's a pretty cool thing. If you can agree on the book. Well, not much, really. You know, you share your opinion. It's pretty cool to, okay. to discuss it. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's rare for me to meet someone that likes reading it's yeah. pretty cool okay. so yeah. well I done. think you have a very nice voice <laughs> yes. when you're being the wingman you want to make your girl feel good and comfortable that means that you don't need to do so much teasing and things like that but you do need to give some compliments have a friendly conversation and basically talk her in nicely enough so that she's happy to talk to you but maybe not too much so that she likes you and by the way what are you drinking there Champagne. It's yeah. pretty good actually. Oh, cool. Cheers. Amazing. Cheers. Oh, ladies, uh, let me get you another one. Oh, thank you. Gentlemen, eh? Yeah. <laughs> You know, Greg, he's actually my best friend, such a great guy because, you know, I've got lots of friends, but you never know who would really be there for you, right? But there was this one time where I just had this horrible situation, broke up with my ex-girlfriend and I called him at like four in the morning and he said, I'm going to be there right away. And oh, he got wow. out of bed, came to me and was talking to me, you know, all through the morning and stuff, didn't sleep and it really made me feel better and I knew because he could have said oh I've got to sleep, I'm busy, I'm going to work tomorrow, whatever but he was really there for me so since that day I realized you know he's a super guy and yeah, that's yeah. why he's my so friend. nice to have such a wonderful friend yeah this is one of the most powerful moments in the entire game because if you can do this kind of thing for your friends and if they can do it for you it has a huge effect when you say things about yourself it's bragging it's bad but when someone else says something about you it's incredibly powerful so think about something nice that you can say about your wingman and try it next time yeah so that's good anyway i'll look hey rich he needs my help i'll just get the drinks hang on a second all right what have you got here would you get me a whiskey coke? Yeah. Hope it's a double. There you go. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So, so cheers. cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> it's a nice one. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Yeah. And you normally drink champagne? Yes, for real. Yeah. Like it's it's my yeah? yeah? What about yeah. cocktails? No, no. Vodka? Really. Yeah. No. Beer? No, definitely not. How about beer? Nice. Yeah, I don't like the taste. Yeah, I don't like beer at all, actually. Strange, but hang on a second. Hi, ah, it's my mum. It was her birthday today. She just said, like, thanks again and whatever. Have a look at what she looks like. Whoa, she's so pretty. She looks young, right? That's why you're so handsome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thank you, that's nice of you to say. And actually, you're so pretty. You've got Thank such a you. sweet smile. Thank you, nice to hear. But you're a little bit shy, right? Am I right? Maybe a little bit. But that's cute, I like shy girls. Thank you. Yeah, shy girls are normally good girls. But this, what is it they say? It's always the quiet ones. There's some like, English expression that the quiet ones are trouble. Well, maybe it's true. Yeah, true about you? Maybe. All right. The worst situation here is if your girl gets bored and wants to leave and drags his girl away. And girls often do that because they're way more loyal than guys. So you need to keep your girl interested. And so as far as you can, without being dishonest, you want to work hard to make her like you. When the girls can see each other, they can find a moment you know, where there's a lull in the conversation um, and they can get out of there. If you turn them away so they can't see each other without kind of, uh, you know, looking back, then it makes it much harder for the conversation to break up for either party as long as they can't see each other. So it's the correct option. What food do you like? Well, I am a vegetarian mm. for six years now. Oh, nice. Can you believe it? And you're still alive? Yes, as you see. Okay. No, but seriously, do you feel healthier with it? Yes, actually, I feel much better. Okay. Seems quite um, trendy at the moment. And I saw lots of documentaries like this one, Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives. And it's all, you know, about how eating meat is bad for the environment, having plant proteins or whatever is better. So. That's cool. And you've, you're a healthy person in general then? Well, yes, I think so. And actually, I really love animals, so I just can't oh, eat them, you know. Animals. <laughs> Do you have some animals? Yes, I have a dog. Okay. What about you? No, I, I have fish. I have an aquarium oh. with fishes. Nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> Can you do anything active apart from well, reading? I mean, reading could be active. <laughs> do you mean sports or something? Yeah, yeah. Well, no. No? No. Zero? Zero. Well, walking. Uh, well, you walking. need to walk from your house to different places. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Can we count it? Um, not really. You don't play like volleyball no, no, or I don't really. badminton. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. That's no. so strange. Well, I don't know. What about like the sports. gym? You never been a member of a gym? Well, maybe, maybe I was. But you didn't go. Yes, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, that's funny. Well, you, you look alright anyway. You're Thank in good you. shape, so Thank you. hasn't uh, killed you yet. <laughs> At some point, you need to start working for your friend and finding out the necessary information. So staying in this conversation is okay, but you could be more helpful if you uh, found out the stuff that would help you later when you want to close the deal. Seems like they're getting on very well together. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they look great together. First, they're actually yeah. both quite tall, so they match like that. Because he actually likes yeah. tall girls, and it's so hard yes. for him to find someone his height. That's really cool. So he's really such a nice guy. How is she? Is she a good girl? She's a wonderful girl. Yeah. I think your friend is very lucky. All right. Well, hopefully they, you know, they make it. But let's just chill and see what happens. This is very nice. You're not saying it publicly. You're not saying it to her, but you're saying it to the friend because you know that after this interaction, they're gonna speak about him and you want the girl that you're talking to to be saying very nice things about your friend. So it's the correct choice, nice one.
Monica, what do you think? This place is getting a bit yeah. dull, right? Yeah. Maybe we should make a move after party time, yeah? I think it's a good idea. Right, let's get yeah. Biko and Greg and get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Guys, go yeah. for after party? Yeah, it will be great. Yeah, come on. on. Come on. Because she wants to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. All yeah. my yeah. ideas are good. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go. Brilliant. This is exactly the way to do it. Um, you don't want to leave it to him and you want to first persuade your girl so that there's two people that already want to do the thing, then your friends are going to be three and the final girl is going to agree to it because, you know, she's just going to be outvoted. You want to go out with someone that makes you look good. They should be, um, they should look pretty good if possible, at least dressed. Hey, so how's the how's the report coming? Slowly, slowly, but the deadline is approaching, so I have to work on it. But yeah, when is the deadline? The deadline is two days. Okay, you've got a lot left to do. Uh, I mean, I've done most of the research by now, but I have to draft it, you know, and just turn words around and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's just writing now, like you've got all the information. Yeah, in yeah, I've got all the information covered, yes, yes. But I'm ho I hope I'm going to make it on time. I'm sure you it's will. You, you're usually a fast worker, right? Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. The goal here, remember, is to move things out of the office, right, into something social, then something romantic. So sticking around in this office subject, no, you need to move on. So what do you think of this new guy, Jeffrey? He's a good lad. He's fine. My friend actually dated him and to her mm -hmm. he was a total freak. Oh, no way. That's amazing gossip. <laughs> wow, cool. Thank you. I know. Small world, isn't it? Yeah. But he mm. seems he seems alright for working. Oh, that's, for work, that's, totally fine. That's, it doesn't matter, but the gossip's cool. Thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> hey, you know what I hate? What? This Tell me. Friday lunch. They stopped it. We used to get free lunch. No, I know, what? I know, I heard about it. So Disaster. bullshit. I kept, when I came to work in this place, they're like, you're going to get free lunch on Friday, you're going to get these, you know, trips and stuff, and then they just take it all away, piece by piece. What are they going to do next? Uh, well, life sucks, in general. Yeah, you know. because that lunch was cool, you know? We had sometimes, you didn't work here as long as me, but we sometimes we had pizzas, sometimes they had Chinese food, and mm. the Indian food was my favourite. <laughs> yeah, do you like Indian food? I love Indian food. Me too, yeah, right? So they used to We have never it. got Indian though for the Friday lunch. Yeah, before you started, they used to do it. And then they said, oh, it's too expensive. Now we have to get pizzas for everyone. They used to have this uh, naan breads and stuff, the rice and different vegetable curries, meat curries. So nice. Mango lassi drink. Maybe you should go work in a restaurant. You know so much about it. Hmm. Do they need, um, like, uh, criminal lawyers in restaurant, you think? Yeah, especially if you have bad stomach after you eat Indian, they might need to. Good idea. Be in the office, negative, Nancy, moaning, not so attractive, so not the best thing that you could choose. Oh hey, um, next weekend is uh, it's like holiday weekend, extra day. So you got you got any plans? I do, I do. I'm going to Las Vegas with my friends. Oh ah, yeah. Maybe gonna get married. You never know there. Oh, you're gonna get. Oh, oh you're you know. Oh, yes. Ah yeah yeah of course yeah. <laughs> and you? Um yeah, I've got big plans. Um, just got a few options. Need to decide. Different people invited me to cool cool things and trips. But, what yeah. are the options? Oh. Um, you know, like flying places, some cool parties, and um, one of my friends is like friends with uh, celebrity mm, and mm. like house party in uh, Hollywood Hills and stuff. Nice, and, but nice anyway, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you after. Because right, right? I'm not sure. I need to choose. Really, I get a lot of all invitations. Right, all right. Make your choice wisely.
Hey, I know you've got this uh, report to finish, but you do seem like a bit more stressed overall. I know, I'm very stressed. I mean, with this new boss who's the new mm. head of the department, he's putting so much pressure on us. I really don't like the direction that the company is going. Oh well, yeah, I agree. It's not it's not the right way to to run a department, and um, yeah, you can't put too much pressure on people because then you won't get the best out of them. So yeah, you're totally right about this. Um, I know. Yeah, new I management. Know. I know the, the old boss was so much better, way better. Uh, and um, his shirts so nasty, right? He's just he's got no I mean, fashion sense at all. Mine's got no taste. That's for sure. And he's like, I'm so cool, got his flashy car, look at me, I'm coming in, fixing everything. But he's just making it worse. Yeah, I'm the one making money and you're the one working for me, right? Mm -hmm. This is alright, it's okay to agree, but remember that if you think something different, then you should say it and you should persuade her, be persuasive, be logical, and it would have a better response, but not bad. I used to work for um, Baxford, Baxter and yep. Bowtie, yeah, right? Yeah, that's correct. Well, what, what happened? Why did you leave that? Yeah, I was bored and I was underappreciated there and I, oh. could, I felt that I could do so much more. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. That is very nice Never to hear. Never forget. I will not. Will not. Thank you. Do you have any vacation plans coming? Oh, I do, in fact. Big plans. Yeah. Going, going surfing to Portugal all the way. You're going to surf to there or once you get there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going, to use, I'm going to use a plane to get there, but then oh. I'm going to surf in Portugal, yeah. All right, very nice. I saw on YouTube, they have these huge, huge waves. The biggest yep. in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world record, 30 meters. My God, that's mental. Quite amazing, no? Yeah, beautiful and... Cool yeah, stuff. I'm thinking. I'm thinking to beat it. The world record. All right. I think I can do it better. Okay, but anyway, who who are you going there with? Uh just a group of friends. So you're just going with friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, go out girls. Two girls, one guy. Okay, great. That's going to be really cool. Yep. You can't really ask a work colleague, hey, are you single? It's a little bit too close to coming on to her. So smooth way to do it is that. So well done. What did you have for lunch today? Uh, Indian. Indian food? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like it. Because in England we have lots of Indians and, uh, you know, yeah, we have heard, so heard many heard. Indian restaurants. I like it a lot. What do you have? Uh, chicken curry. Yeah, spicy or? Yeah, spicy. I like it spicy. Uh, Vindaloo probably, that's yep. the most spicy yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Good guess, good guess. Yeah. You know me. <laughs> How are you liking this hot weather? It's too hot. Usually yeah. I love hot weather. Yeah, because you're tanned. Yeah, yeah. I like it a lot, but then it's too much. Yeah, no, me too. No, too I can't even sleep. Yeah, well, you're British. I mean, you're not used to it, is it? No, we have grey skies. Grey skies and what, five, so, five uh, sunny days? There's two different here. weathers in England. Grey skies with rain. Grey skies with no rain. Grey skies with wind. Mm -hmm. And then grey skies with a little bit of blue. Uh, for an hour and then grey skies again. So, pretty much. Uh, lots of choice. No? Yeah, I mean, variety. So, the rain, the rain can go different directions. Yeah, yeah. rain and wind together, just rain, a little bit of rain all day long, 
strong rain all day long, like different. Yeah. Fun, fun. Yeah, but and, and yeah, I mean, people like the summer, but it's it's just boiling for me. <laughs> Safe and boring, not usually the best way to go, but it won't get you in trouble. What do you think about dating co-workers? Mm, totally not. No? Mm -mm, not mm. into that at all. Like, no, like, no, we shouldn't do it, but it's exciting. No, I'm see what you're getting at. No, it's, it's no. No, not at all. 100%. Yeah, I, I agree with you, actually, because, like, you're working with someone, you need to be professional, yeah. and then it's a big world out there. There are lots of people, like, why do you have to date people from work? And do you think about anyone, anyone from work? No. No, not at all. No? Mm -mm. Yeah, me too. To be honest. Look at this. Oh, yeah. These exactly. people. God. You don't need to explicitly ask, because when you explicitly ask, she can always say it's a bad idea. Hey, listen, uh, me and some of the guys and girls, we're going to the Shamrock after work. Yeah. All right, you want to come? The pub? Yeah, the that one they have uh, pool and darts and ping pong and all that yeah, stuff. I heard yeah. a lot about it. You want to go? You want to join I us? I would love to. I would love to. Thank you so much for the invitation. All right. Of course. It's going to be good. Great. All right. doing well there because the best way to invite a colleague out especially if you're not sure is to arrange some kind of group event so that's the way to bridge that gap between people that are just colleagues to people that see each other socially hey are you doing any um exercise stuff for the moment um yes actually i just started doing crossfit oh, you do crossfit yeah Crossfit, yeah, I've been meaning to try it. I, I did try it once, but I just didn't like the place. So, uh, oh, w where do you go? Oh, just, just around the corner. Oh, it's like a couple blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very convenient mm, it's from good. here. Yeah, yeah, it's great. All right, well, maybe I'll, I'll try that one uh, one day. If you don't mind me being in the same class. No, not at all, not at all. You're okay, welcome. Again, this is great because it's the kind of innocuous conversation that can nicely lead to something outside of work doing something together socially. Karen? Yes? I wanted to know, you know, you said you do CrossFit. Uh, what else? You go out drinking with yeah. friends and stuff for the weekend, but anything else you, you like to do? Well, nothing too exciting. I go to the movies, mm -hmm. I take pictures, I like photography, okay. also salsa. Salsa? Oh, no way. I, I did it a few times. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, were you any good? Uh, I got better, but I mean, you know, there's always the instructor guy, yeah. he's amazing, yeah. and then obviously not like that, but uh, better great. than when I started. I yeah. would never tell you can do salsa, that's well, great, great. I think that's a compliment. Yes, the, it is a compliment. The guy, he looked quite effeminate, to be honest. <laughs> he changed me. I don't know about your coach. But. And what do you do in your spare time? Um, well, I like... I like playing squash. Okay. I told you I like photography. Sometimes some dance, a little bit of gym, but mm -hmm. also uh, climbing is cool. Oh, really? Climbing? Yeah, but not mountain climbing, you know, holding on with one hand, but like these artificial walls and stuff. Yeah, very cool. Interesting, interesting. So, how long have you been doing this? I've done it in like eight, eight, nine times or something. Why? Are you, you I always wanted to try. I mean, oh. I read so much about it, and some of my friends are doing it, but I never had the guts to do it myself. Oh, it's not too scary. You always have someone supporting yeah? you and stuff. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I can't fall on my back and break my, I don't know, whatever, back. Only if they wanted you to and <laughs> let, cut the rope or something. But no, I, I'm joking. It's, it's very safe and it's really good. You should try. Mm, which gym do you go to? Uh, well, there are a few different ones. If you go to the same one all the time, it's boring. Mm. So always mm. change it. But there's a good one for beginners. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you about it. I'll send you details yes, or please, next please. time I go, I can even... You know, that would be you. great, that would be great. Oh. Thank you. 
In the workplace, it's all about transitioning to personal stuff, but in a smooth way. So it's the right option. Well done. What are you looking at? This is a um, design book, but this part is cars. Do you like cars? I love cars, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, look, they have the concept like in the beginning and then how it evolves over time. Oh, nice. Like adding wheels and then mm. adding other stuff, little aerial on top. And then you have everything. Yeah, it's cool. Nice. I was thinking of getting a Tesla, actually. Yeah? You like Teslas? Yeah. Well, you, you like uh, into environment and stuff. I like um, electricity. Mm -hmm. Good choice, good choice. I had many good reviews about it. Mm -hmm. Karen, actually, in, uh, in the break, I just called the climbing club. And on uh, Saturday and Sunday, we could go at like four o'clock and there's, there's no people there and stuff. I can book either of those times. So, do you want to go? Great news, yes, yes. I'm Which free. Day? I'm in any of those. Which right, one is better for let's you? Let's say Sunday. Sunday's good. Yeah? It's great. Yeah, All right, just great. after church. You're joking. <laughs> you, you go to church? Of course I do. Oh, oh well, you? that's good. Yeah, yeah, I go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, go there a lot. But anyway, climbing, cool, Sunday. Yes. Great. Wonderful. So you've smoothly bridged that gap between just chilling in the office to arranging to do something outside socially. Perfect. Is this dress new? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's nice. I like it. It's, you notice? Makes, it shows your, um, your figure well. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Listen, you've got to go right now over to Michelle's office in HR and you've got to tell her that you need holiday immediately. Where? Where, where, where am I going? Well, I've just booked tickets to, Mal to the Maldives and we're going right. to go together. It's going to be super romantic. Just two of and, us? Yeah, of course. All That's included? Um, most, most included. Most like included. breakfast and dinner and in the middle you're just hungry. But it's okay because yeah. you can swim and yeah. all of that go stuff. On my huh? way. All right, go on then. I'm on my way now. Would be good, right? I wish, I wish. Es escape from this shithole. Anyway. No kidding. This is a uh, future projection, you know, getting to uh, her to imagine doing romantic, interesting things with you. It's kind of playful, kind of funny, and it works well. well I'm done for the day. What about you, Wadanyin? You... No, uh, no, the deadline is coming up. I better finish it today. Oh, deadline, schmedline. Why, why don't we go quickly get a drink? No, not for me today, sorry. No, that's no. so boring, God. All right, well, I'm going to have fun. I'll leave you there. <coughs> Let's go. The fuck, idiot. The goal here, remember, is to move things out of the office, right? Into something social. Coffee's boring and, you know, we love drinking, right? We want some alcohol. Otherwise, you know, how do you make a move if she's sober? Oh, God. Plus, a lot harder to keep the conversation going in a coffee shop. Ideally, we want nighttime plus drinks, right? To make sure the date goes as well as possible. So the bar is the best option. Um, take a seat. Thanks. No, 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 you don't sit opposite. Reason is, you can't touch her up. No, but seriously, it makes it a bit harder. When you're sitting side by side, you get to kind of take a break, look around the room. If there's an awkward silence, it's not so awkward. And like I said before, you can touch her. 
Come take a seat over here. Thank you. Perfect. So many people sit opposite each other on first dates and it gets really awkward because you've got that eye contact the whole time, you run out of stuff to say, you feel super uncomfortable and the worst thing, you can't touch her up, right? So it's much better to sit side by side. So how have you been the past few days? What have you been doing? Uh, actually quite a lot. Mm. I went to the gym as usual okay. and then did some work, but it's boring, right? <laughs> so. Yeah. And ah, last night I watched a movie. Okay, what movie? Uh, it was Seven with Brad Pitt, a nice one. Ah, yeah, it's good, right? It's kind of um, psychological serial killer, scary. Oh, so you've seen it? Yeah, yeah I like it, it is it's... very scary. I liked it very much. I think it's very smart. But it's a strange film for a girl. It's not like Sex is in it? the City or <laughs> like um, Finding Nemo or something. It's quite, yeah. <laughs> it's quite a tough film, right? Yeah, it is. But I like tough films. Mm. So you watch make... horror movies and things like that? Yeah, I do. I do quite often. I think they make you think and it's interesting. But not what if there's loads of blood and people dying? You can watch it or you kind of cover your eyes and stuff. Not like that. I wouldn't watch The Saw or something like that because it's stupid, I think. Mm. But this one is very smart. You should know if you watch it. Yeah, it is very smart. You're always thinking about, you know, how they can catch him and stuff. So yeah, exactly. Cool. exactly. All right. What else have you got going on? Actually, I'm moving house at the moment and all it's right. very, very difficult and annoying because there are all those boxes I have to move and all my stuff. You have to pack things yeah, up. Yeah, pack and... up and then transport it all. Mm. Oh, it's so difficult. Yeah, they say it's a stressful thing to do to move house. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, listen, if I'm free, then I can definitely come and help you carry boxes or whatever you need. Oh, really? Thank yeah, you for, for the sure. offer. It's very nice of you. No, it's not right you're doing heavy lifting and stuff yourself. You know, look at you in this dress and heels <laughs> and coming downstairs. And true, true. No, it's physical work, so I'm happy to come do it. Thanks. I will use your help. No, and you can remember this rule for as long as you live. Don't do these favours for girls that you're romantically interested in until you're dating and preferably sleeping together because otherwise you're just giving her too much too soon for no good reason. I know you're busy now with the house and stuff but what do you normally do in your free time? Do you do any sports? Yeah, of course I do sports. Why of course? <laughs> <laughs> it's my main hobby, going to the gym actually. Oh ah, yeah? Yeah, I like it very much. What do you do there? I do a lot of different things actually. Mm -hmm. The main one is doing weights, usual mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. And I also do one hour stretching a week. Yeah. It's very, very painful, but very rewarding as well. For flexibility. Yeah. So you I want like to be it. able to do splits or, yeah, that's or my kick, goal. kick people in their heads. <laughs> like yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So, and also I do Pilates sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's interesting as well. And what about you? Do you do sports? Uh, yeah, I've done lots of sports. I used to do boxing, used to play squash. Hmm. Um, I always try and do something physical and at the moment I just do normal gym, like weights yeah. and things. But I don't get huge because I don't do protein shakes and all this stuff. So <laughs> That's good. Just yeah. go to the gym and I'm doing things for like endurance, you know, to be, to be, have good fitness and, yeah, and whatever. And what else do you do apart from physical stuff? Apart from physical stuff, I like reading, mm -hmm. actually. I read every day and it's very, very interesting for me. Oh, ah, yeah? What, what are you reading now or what's the last book you read? I've just finished uh, Bulgakov's Master and Margarita, but it wasn't okay. the first time I've ever read it. So. You read it again? So yeah, I like it very much. One of your favourites? Yeah, one of. That's nice because it's classic literature, not like, you know, Harry Potter and yeah. the Code <laughs> and the girl with the dragon tattoo and all this stuff. Mm, so you like reading as well? Uh, yeah, and I like reading um, not just fiction, but if I read fiction, I like classics, but okay. I like reading sometimes psychology, business, biographies, all types of different stuff. Yeah, that's interesting. I like psychology as well and biographies mm. of famous people. That's good. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Cool. And tell me, do you do anything uh, creative or, I don't know, like singing, dancing, <laughs> playing the violin, whatever? No, actually, I'm absolutely useless at singing. You can't sing? 
calm down and don't like it. I was going to ask you to sing for me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> maybe we'll get your lessons and you can sing for me. That can be interesting. Maybe, maybe one day. Mm -hmm. And I can't play any musical None instruments. None of them. Well, no. Even this xylophone things. thing or the... <laughs> maybe. Do you know this triangle, that one? You just... <laughs> yeah. can do like that, that, I think, because that's easy. And the creative thing I do is actually painting. Thank you. Painting is really interesting, actually. But yeah, it is. But tell me, like, what what does it give you? How do you feel? Oh, it gives me a lot. In the first place, it helps you to reveal something inside. And in the second place, it helps you to express your emotions, and it's really interesting. So it's not something, because I'm not a painter, right? So okay. it's, it's not something where, you know, you're sitting here, for example, and you just paint the bar and you're just trying to kind of copy it. It's something where something's coming from inside based on how you feel and who you are. Yeah, it whatever. is. It is, because I like to create something that may not even exist in the real okay. world. So it's basically my imagination. But sometimes I like to paint something that exists, if it's, for example, beautiful scenery or something mm -hmm. I really like. Very nice. So yeah. it's not... Um, it's something that serves a purpose like, emotionally for you as well, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. I'd love to see some of your paintings one day. Oh, really? That yeah. would be lovely. I would, I would be happy to show you something. Marvellous. That's exactly what you want to do because when someone has a passion, you want to dig down in it, get them speaking and um, telling you about their feelings. And it's definitely the way to go when someone reveals a life passion. So pay attention to that. Let's not leave this sitting here. Yeah, have a drink. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. So tell me, how about um, traveling? Do you travel? Oh yes, I do. And what do you normally do? Do cities or adventure holidays? Uh, actually, I like, I like both. I like cities and I went to many places in Europe. For example, Prague and mm. Berlin and Rome. Rome is amazing. So I Very like that. There, yeah. yeah, of course, Europe is beautiful. And I also went to some exotic places like uh, Lebanon, for example. Lebanon? Yeah, it's it was, not dangerous there. It was quite scary because I thought it was dangerous, but probably it wasn't at the moment. It was fun because I like to see different things and, you know different cultures and whatever. But yeah. Rome is very touristy, right? Yeah, all and, these crowds, you're And right. then Lebanon is probably not very touristy, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, absolutely, very different. So you like you different, see the contrast. different kinds of things, not yeah, always the same stuff in the same hotel and speaking, you know, places where, because English people are different. Some like to go to, uh, for example, Spain every year to the same oh, place, really? uh, only speak English, they don't know any Spanish. That's quite boring. Yeah, and then some people like just going somewhere super exotic where there are no tourists. I'm, I'm more like the second type. I don't like tourists. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> if I go somewhere and the other English people are like, oh no, you know, I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Oh, really? So you don't like English people? Um, when I'm traveling somewhere and you're just surrounded by, you know, people from your country, you don't feel like you're traveling. And if oh, yeah. everything's in English, you don't feel like you're traveling. So I like to go somewhere and only meet locals to go to the local place. Like in, you would have seen it in Rome. You can go to some restaurants where it's all just Americans. Yeah, just tourists all yeah. around. Or no you can good. go to a restaurant if you're lucky and you're like, oh, I'm sitting with Italians. So I must be in the right place, <laughs> not the, not the tourist yeah, maybe you're right, actually. I should try that. Yeah. And tell me, what's the, like the, I don't know, coolest place you've been or most interesting? Hmm, something that I really liked, yeah? Yeah. Recently, I went to Cuba and it was amazing. I really, really liked it. Cuba, that's really interesting because it's, uh, it's kind of a strange country, right? It was uh, Americans weren't allowed to go there for so long. They've yeah. got this reputation for the 
politics, but it's not very developed for tourists, right? So it must be quite interesting. Yeah, it's not, and that's what interesting actually, because mm. it's not easy to get internet even there, you know. No, no internet yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is internet, but it's kind of difficult. Slow and, and stuff, yeah, yeah, very interesting. But Completely I like having different. a break from the internet. Do you? Oh yeah, I like it, but mm. not all people can handle it. Can you? No. Um, yeah, I can handle it. I like to mm, good. unplug sometimes and then you feel how relaxing it is when you're not checking your phone all the time. But yeah, right. I do it sometimes as well and I really liked it. But tell me, like, what's, what's the cool stuff about Cuba? What did you really like about it? Everything. I just liked everything. The nature was amazing. Mm. Very beautiful. Palm and the trees, people, beaches. Yeah, the main thing was actually the people because they are very, very friendly and very okay. different and it was very peaceful there and safe and everything was wonderful, actually, yeah, mm. you have to... People you know. are often the most important thing, yeah, because if they're yeah. rude or if there are too many tourists then it just can destroy the holiday, right? Sure. But you said they're very, very friendly, so you very. felt good there. Yeah, you're right, I felt very good there. Very nice. Excelente. You know, holidays are something that bring out a lot of emotions, you know, just compared to her telling you about, I don't know, her day at work compared with a recent holiday. So it's an area that you want to explore and you want to find out what she felt during that period so that she can kind of relive it and start feeling good again in that moment with you as she tells you about it. Plus, it's keeping the attention on her rather than just cutting her off and talking about something else. And what about you? Do you like traveling? Yeah, I do like travel. I, I don't like it as much as I did because when I was younger, I would go away for months at a time and just wow. go to different countries and, um, you know, come back home and then two weeks later go away again. Mm. Um, now I'm more settled and I like spending time at home, but I would say like every month I like to go somewhere. And I spend a lot of time in Barcelona. I've got a nice place there, it's by the sea and oh. have it all you know nicely set up with big television and playstation and stuff so it's really cool oh really uh playstation you said yeah uh you play often mm. yeah kind of oh really i think games are just a waste of time don't you think so What? What's wrong with it? If I want to play a game sometimes, fine. Really? Yeah, why not? I don't think that it's okay to sit in front of the TV all the time with the controller. Not all the time, sometimes. And of course you need a controller to play the game and the television. But you're telling me you don't do anything that wastes time? Um, not anything like that, no. Other things that waste time in worse ways, probably, yeah? No, in better ways. So, yeah, I don't like games at all. So if really. I spied on you for 24 hours, I wouldn't see you on Instagram reading a Cosmopolitan magazine no, and all this stuff. Definitely not. No? You'd be like studying Shakespeare, going to the gym and then, you know, reading another book and reading another book and reading another book. Probably I do something, but games, I really know that if you start, then you just can't quit and you're sitting there for hours and you think that it's one minute. No. Does it happen to no, you? No, not at all. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay then. Remember the golden rule. When you're challenged, don't react with anger. Don't react by being aggressive towards them. Be cool with it. And what about, what about you? Do you have any like uh, guilty pleasures or some really dumb oh. TV shows, like reality stuff or something? Mm, well, let me think. Definitely not TV shows, because I mm. never watch TV actually. Never? Never. I don't like it. You don't have a television? Only movies. Oh, I movies. have television, but okay. only for movies and stuff. And I need to tell you that one guilty pleasure I used to have mm. was smoking, actually. Oh. But I managed to give up. And Are you sure you're not going to start again? Mm, no, you now I'm not. a no. cigarette now and say, come on, <laughs> No, smoke. thank you. No, I gave up, so That's no good. more. And oh. I think nothing else, basically. And what right. about you? Actually, people are often surprised when I tell them I've never tried a cigarette. 
Oh really? Yeah, never smoked Not once. Them. No, I smoked other things, but never, never a cigarette. Okay. It's strange, right? Yeah, that's funny. And in general, no, I think I'm quite um, nothing too bad, you know. Not a crazy alcoholic or addicted to anything <laughs> that good. I shouldn't be addicted to. So no, it's not too bad. And let me ask something that's a little bit um, for me. It's interesting, right? So indulge me here. Uh, okay, what are your bad habits? Like, what are some bad qualities? Ah, um, like that. I think I can't really trust people well. So sometimes. Well, you know you can trust me. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I can seem a little bit unfriendly with people I don't know. Ah. So maybe that's a bad point about mm. me. And um, also, um crazy about being on time everywhere so sometimes I'm oh. panicking when I'm running late and can be really angry or something like that. That might be a problem. Really? Why? Yeah. You're always late. I'm never late but I arrive, tell me that. I arrive like three seconds before. Before? <laughs> always You're before. You're sure not after? Uh, I'm late if it doesn't matter but if it matters like a flight or a train or a... Well, when people are waiting I'm not late but if it doesn't really matter if we kind of say oh around that time then I wouldn't. And getting to the airport, yeah, not hours before. Hate it. So that might be a problem. Uh, yeah, that might be a problem actually. Because I like to come in advance. Don't know what to do now. <laughs> I can try it your way because actually I end up wasting hours just well, sitting there and if waiting. If in the future, right, this is our first date, but if in the future <laughs> we go somewhere, okay. you can just go to the airport like five hours before, <laughs> do whatever you want. And meet you there. And I'll just come, yeah, I'll just come later and meet you on the plane. Okay, <laughs> that sounds funny. All right. Hmm, I need to figure out a way to touch her now. So if I'm not mistaken, you have uh, hands, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Hi, let me see this. Oh my god. What? All, What's is, wrong? Has anyone ever done a palm reading for you? Oh no, never. No? I can see why. This is very, <laughs> very strange. What's that? You know this line? This is the lifeline, right? Mm, maybe. And it, was, it would be very long if you lived in the Paleolithic era, but, <laughs> Why? but as, it, as it is, it's not, it's not so long, but that's okay. It's, it's better to live well than long, right? You know, you don't be 300 mm, years old, but have a mm, awful sure life. Time. So that's that one. Never, don't okay. think too much about that. Next one is, this is your love line. As you can see, it's not, it's not been so good, but then it changes and everything, everything gets pretty good and that's around when would that be? ah today oh yeah oh, really so that's joking. that's all good uh that's children joke, right? happiness joke mm -hmm. no really it's, it's around today you can't tell exactly but around give or take you know a week or an hour something okay. like that um this one is your your fortune and again, it's quite unlucky, but then someone brings a lot of luck and happiness. So, <laughs> Who's that? Over, I don't know who, it could be anyone, but probably probably someone. Okay, I'll pretend someone that. Someone close by. So that I believe you. No, it's very scientific. You can, you know, there's books. Oh, really? I studied for, for a long time. Well then. You know, it depends what kind of box you want to be in. If you want to um, do this kind of silly stuff, it can actually work on a lot of girls, surprisingly. Even if you think it's bullshit, the majority of girls like this stuff. However, it's a little bit calculated. So it depends where you sit on that issue. But uh, for me, it's not the best thing to do and you should try to do without it. And do you like going out to bars, partying, all that stuff? Actually, no, I don't really like it because uh, people are just drinking there and I don't mm -hmm. really like to drink. Like <laughs> no. You don't like to drink? Cheers. No, they're, <laughs> cheers they're just cheers. 
I think they're just drinking a lot and then they're crazy, dancing everywhere, oh, smoking. Oh, you mean like shots and Yeah, all this. I don't drinking. really like that. Yeah, but sometimes I go with my friends when they make me go, basically. Mm. You like yes. dancing? Can you dance? I really can dance when I feel like dancing, but it doesn't happen often. That's why I don't go. So, do I believe you, yeah? So if you were, if I caught you in the club, you wouldn't be dancing on the bar or the table. <laughs> no, nothing like that, never. You're controlled. Yeah, I'm okay. very, very self-controlled. But you're single at the moment. You, would, you don't yes, go to bars to meet men? Mm, really, I don't think it's a perfect place to meet someone nice. What do you do then, internet? Uh, no, internet, I don't believe in that. Okay. I think that it's better just to live your life, to work and go to the parks, wherever you go and then one day you will meet someone when it's time. That's very romantic. So you believe in fate? Yeah, I, I do. So you're single at the moment, right? Yes, you I haven't am. got secret lovers and husbands <laughs> all around the world or no. something? No. Okay, and how is it? Because I know some girls, they, they're they never single. They just have a relationship, split up into the next one. Yeah, maybe. I quite like it. I think it's better to be single than with, with someone you don't like or something like that. That's why I really enjoy that. I have a lot of free time to mm. develop my personality and to uh, do something, read and do more work. So I like it. What's your longest relationship? Um, it was about a year. A year? I once met a girl who said two weeks to that question. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Amazing, Don't you think right? so? Yeah, very strange. <laughs> what about you? Uh, my longest was my first relationship two and a half years. Oh, that's quite long. Yeah. But how mm. long have you been single this time? Uh, it's about three months now. Three months? If you don't mind me asking, and you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but why did you break up with your last man? Oh, actually we broke up because he was useless in bed. Oh, interesting. That's, yeah. um, that's uh, bad, I guess, for you. Uh, yeah, kind of. Right. Uh, Okay. Well, what about you then? Why are you Me? single? Oh, why well, I'm single. Um, why am I single? Well, I had, I had, I've had girlfriends, obviously. Mm. Um, but for me, I think you know it's important to be with the right girl. And okay. so, if I'm gonna, when I'm in a relationship, I like being very close to the person. I don't want to kind of pretend I'm playing golf or drinking with my friends or something and never come home and stuff. So True. it takes a long time to find someone that is uh, compatible enough to spend that time with, to be close to, to share everything and whatever else. So right. it's, it's more kind of time to find the right person. It's not that easy. I agree. Oops. Well, a man needs to be sexual, doesn't he? he needs to be confident, doesn't he? And you've just kind of crumbled in the face of her bringing up the sexual subject, so not what you should do. Oh, it looks like the taxi's already here, but oh. um, it was wonderful spending time with you and we should do this again sometime soon. Yeah, I think so, I liked it. All right, great. I'll think of something uh, interesting to do. We can go, I don't know, play some sport or something like that. Yeah? I would love to, great. Okay, you will great. message me then. Yeah, sure. Great. Correct, that's the right option. Ideally, we want nighttime plus drinks, right? To make sure the date goes as well as possible. Congratulations, you made it. You got all the way to the end and completed all 10 levels. Now, there is an even better ending if you go through and you complete them all with five star ratings plus get 50% completion, but it will be worth your while, so I suggest you go and do it. As a reward for completing the game, I'm gonna give you a few secrets in the making of it. Now, did you notice this? That there's um, a scene with a girl called Alexa, and there's another one called Jenna. We're talking about the club dance floor and the girl on the street, and also Thursday. Did you notice that that's actually the same girl? That's actress Shanna Vincent. 
Uh, something else in the game is that in the friend to girlfriend level, uh, Lilia, the girl in it, is actually my friend. Uh, she's my friend since 2012. And so a lot of the stuff in that level is true, like her going on to a design course. Finally, maybe most shocking is that the girl Kate is actually my wife of, um, I don't know, about six months ago. So you didn't know that and that's kind of like silly little reward for you finishing the game. But if you want to go a little bit further and get the best possible ending, then I've got an even better surprise for you. So maybe go ahead and do that. But again, thank you so much for playing and I hope you really love the game.